In this video I'll show you how to transform PowerPoint slides like this into super engaging infographics like this, so your content really shines through while looking amazing. The best part is that they're very easy to create because I'll be using a tool that feels like cheating. Are you ready? Let's go. Now for this video, I'll be using an add-in called ThinkCell, which is one of the most used PowerPoint add-ins in the world, especially if you need to create data-driven slides. This will help us speed up the process so we don't have to start from scratch. The best part is that you can install it and use it completely for free for 45 days. This is an exclusive offer only if you go through the link in the description box of this video and sign up to start your free trial. Amazing! Once installed, when you open PowerPoint, you'll see this new option in the ribbon called ThinkCell, which unlocks a ton of new tools that you can use in any of your presentations. If you click on Library, you'll find lots of ready-to-use templates for charts, time timelines, tables, etc. And the best part is that you can even add your own files to it as well, so you have them available whenever you need them without having to search through all your files. Another cool feature here is that you can also find high quality images and icons. Just select either Pexels, Unsplash or Freepik, search for something, select an image and it will be inserted directly into your slide. Okay, amazing. So one of the most popular slides we all need to create at some point is a slide with a map. These are super helpful to showcase sales by performance or region or to visualize locations of new facilities, for example. So let me show you a great way to elevate them to an infographic style. From ThinkSales library, if you go to templates and search for maps, you'll find different pre-made slides for world maps, continents, etc. I'll select the Australian map for this example. And with a single click, your slide is now inserted into your presentation. Now this is a great starting point since everything is editable, but here's a cool way to elevate it. Start by selecting the continent, go to Merge Shapes and click Union. Then make it bigger and insert a rectangle that covers the entire slide like this. We'll create a mask by selecting everything, going back to Merge Shapes and click Combine. Now you can change the color to whatever you like. I'll insert an image from the image library. I think this one will work and send it behind the mask. I'll also go to animations and add a grow animation that starts with previous. Finally, you can add the rest of your content like this. And just like that, we've transformed this slide into something like this, which is much more fun and engaging. You can find infographic style slides in ThingCell's library, but an easy way to make them much more engaging is by adding animations or transitions. For example, if you go to library and search for infographics, you'll find this pre-made slide with 100 icons of people as data visualization, which is the one I'll use for this example. So let's make some quick changes to make this super engaging. First, I'll delete the content that I don't need, and now I'll change the colors of the icons to a dark gray. Next, you need to select the icons you want to highlight, which in this case is 60%, and I'll duplicate them by pressing Ctrl D on my keyboard. I'll also group them together so it's easy to work with them and place them in the exact same position as the other ones. For these ones, you need to change the colors so they stand out. I'll pick a bright green. Next, let's go to animations and click on wipe. Make sure the direction is from left and the start is with previous. I'll also increase the duration slightly. I'll change the background color to a dark blue. And finally, I'll replace the hierarchy and colors of the text on the right hand side. And that's it. Now we have this cool effect where it looks like the chart fills up and it was incredibly easy to make. Sometimes you only need to change the colors to transform a basic chart into a really cool infographic. For example, let's start with this simple sunburst or spiderweb chart slide that I got from the layouts library. We'll start by removing all the information we don't need. Next, let's make the sunburst bigger like this and move it to the right hand side. I'll right click on the slide to change the background color to black. Select the sunburst, then change the outline color to blue and the fill color to black. You can even select a few sectors and change its fill color to a dark blue to highlight that specific area. The next step is to go to shapes and insert a circle that covers the whole chart. Let's get rid of its outline and add a gradient fill. We only need two handles so you can select the ones in the middle and delete them. I'll change the color of both handles to black. For the one on the left hand side, we'll change its transparency to 100%. 
Finally, change the type to radial and select this direction. I'll quickly align the handle slightly like this and now we have this very cool effect. Lastly, add an image and place it in the center of the chart. Click on picture format, crop, select crop to shape and pick a circle. Click on the image icon and then from the picture color option, select this option to recolor the image so it blends better with the chart and that's it. Now you just need to add your content and you're done. The initial slide was already functional and it was good, but we just took it to a whole new level. And let me give you a bonus trick that will be helpful for all your presentations if you have things held installed. There are alignment and distribution tools that can really optimize your workflow. For example, if you have a lot of text boxes or graphics with different sizes, you can simply click on this icon so they are all the same width or this icon so they're all the same height. Or if you want to quickly match the sizes of two objects, like these two charts for example, you can simply select them and then click on this icon so they have the same size. It's very very easy. If you click on this icon you'll access ThingSales productivity resources which are honestly insane. If you click on send you can share specific slides with someone without having to send the whole presentation. You can also remove animations, comments, presenter notes or hidden slides plus you can convert your file into a zip or pdf directly from here which is amazing. And hear me out, if your files are too big to send over email, check out this cleanup option. You can delete unused slides from the master slides and remove all invisible or off-slide content which will make your files much more lighter so you can easily share them with anyone. So there you go, these are just three easy ways you can transform your PowerPoint slides into something more visual and engaging. If you want to try ThingSale, make sure to check the link in the description box below. I've got an exclusive link so you can try it out for free for up to 45 days and I'll see you in my next video.